historically people have used uh, a thatched roof you know in slums and villages which is literally they will put they would put wooden battens not finished or anything uh, but uh, just spaced close to each other and they would put dry grass on top from their farms a uh, thick bunch and that would act as a roof uh, it would keep the house cool but then of course it was not a watertight roof and all of that and uh, so it re required frequent maintenance eventually clay tiles came along you know people would make bricks uh, in these rural areas in farms so even clay tiles were made uh, through uh, uh, these fired clay you know and molds and so they start to use clay tiles so just interlocking with each other but they would move frequently with wind or with animals monkeys dogs who have whatever jumps on top of the roof so they'll again have like water leakage uh, so required frequent maintenance and I think <clears throat> that's where uh, the tin roof centered because uh, they were better than thatch roof and uh, uh, the clay tiles roof because it would just be like a sheet of metal that would lay on top and uh, the annual maintenance at least was not there so it was an upgrade but it was still poor quality because it's just one millimeter uh, thick uh, uh, sheet of metal so all the heat would get in you know and the installation mistakes would result in water coming in through screw holes and eventually it's going to rust also you know so while it was an upgrade it was still uh, a poor quality and we should definitely not uh, ignore in fact that's the big one which is the concrete roof you know so the cement based construction a lot of large companies adopted that and then a lot of masons got trained in doing cement based construction and that translated to those masons doing the cement based constructions in uh, uh, low income areas also so this concrete roof or reinforced concrete roof and when i say reinforced it's steel rebars that are laid in between and then they would pour a mix of sand and cement which would cure over time and which would give the necessary uh, strength you know it would be like a three inch four inch thick uh, monolithic you know uh, a structure and so concrete roofs uh, are just so uh, easy to pour easy to make and so strong that they eventually became became the 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 aspiration the go to you know roof if you had more money to spend compared to a tin roof so that's sort of the history so we of course uh, we also compete with the concrete roof because our roof is much higher in quality compared to tin roof and thatch roof and clay tiles roof uh, so the natural comparison people make is with concrete roof and so that's where we had to differentiate you know compared to a concrete roof now concrete roof is very heavy it would weigh 25 to 30 kg per square foot and through our engineering and improvement in uh, strength to weight ratio our roof for the same load bearing performance weighs only 4 kg so it's very light roof uh, we also figured out that concrete takes a lot of time to build it's also a skilled job although it has been degraded that oh anybody can do but then there are water seepage issues and cracking issues and all of that uh, so while it is a skilled job uh, it has been degraded that oh anybody can do and so people do a very poor job at building it but even then it takes a very long time to uh, build it I mean, even if you do a simple google search you'll find that it requires 28 days of just curing you know after you pour it just has to cure for 28 days that's the ideal amount of time they don't leave it for 28 days after seven days they're like oh we're done and you know we can do start to use it or do some plaster or putty or color or whatever and that's why they have cracks and stuff like that uh, <clears throat> our roof is much faster to build so if a concrete roof takes 30 days our roof would take like four days or three days or five days depending on certain factors but still a big improvement of uh, six to eight times so uh, speed wise also it's uh, uh, it's a much superior product and as i said that concrete is easy to build so it's done by an organized sector so people are like oh we can mix things and do it but in what ratio what proportions are you mixing things uh, when you use steel rebars what uh, diameter what thickness and how do you actually use them all those technicalities are skipped you know 
uh, our roof is a standard product you know there's just no scope of uh, adultering it or mixing anything in it because it's factory made and you just uh, fit it on site you know like a uh, uh, not all, uh, not fully, but almost like uh, an IKEA kind of a product. So the quality is uh, fully uh, assented. So we claim that it's the best quality roofing in uh, India, at least. Uh, so anyway, so that's sort of the whole journey, you know, from what people would use and how we came into it and how we differentiate ourselves.